What's going on guys? Keith here from Mirror Effect Detail. Uh, I'm making this video to address a bit of a, a suggestion I had on the car detailing Facebook group. And it was about getting rid of the wash bucket that I've got here. And instead of using a wash mitt to transfer suds to a panel for cleaning action and lubricity and whatever else that we use detergents for. Instead of using this, basically eliminating this bucket and the 20 litres or so of water that goes with it and just using a snow foam cannon to put suds on a panel. Uh, now this, this caused a bit of controversy which I was a bit of surprised by. Um, I don't actually think that the methodology was that controversial but I think I was really shit at wording it so I think I confused a few people. Um, I'm going to address those people later by the way because um, I'm all about accountability um, but yeah so I'm just going to demonstrate this on this car that I've got here I'm just going to do two panels I'm just going to do let's say the wash mitt on this panel and the snow foam technique on this panel but just to run you guys through the whole process is exactly the same you know I'm going to do a snow foam pre-soak regardless I'm going to do a rinse and then when it comes to time to clean, I'm, I'm just going to show you the difference then. So I'm just going to not use the wash bucket on this panel. And I'm going to use the wash bucket on this panel. And you'll be able to see visually like what the differences are. And, and maybe you guys will agree with me that the snow foam is just way more efficient and less water and quicker and better um, than the traditional, you know, two bucket wash me with suds in a wash bucket method so but let me know what you think Now guys, one of the criticisms in the comments below in this first post that I did was that it takes a long time to swap between snow foam cannons and like, and your pressure washer tip. I'll show you guys right now. This is how long it takes me to change from my normal rinse tip to the snow foam. Ready? Okay, done. So. Maybe they're also criticizing that maybe it takes a long time to re-snow foam the car afterwards. But I can go around this whole SUV in mate seconds. So I don't really agree with the time uh, critique of this method. I think it actually saves time and it saves water because you're not filling up a bucket. You're not grabbing your, um, your bucket soap from your cabinet and pouring it in and then agitating it and then yeah, I just think this is better guys, so, but, you know, I'm open to different opinions. Um, and again, I was doing the two bucket wash for years, um, but I just don't think it makes sense anymore. If you don't have a snow foam cannon, uh, you can use one of these manual pumps. There's even electric ones now, which seem a bit gimmicky, but you can use this. Can use one of these. I think I need to dilute this a little bit more because I think it's blocking up a bit. Um, but I don't really use this much anyway because I got the snow foam cannon on my pressure washer. So this is just the pre-soak. No one's arguing this. We can spend you know three minutes or five minutes, let it dwell for a bit. Again, this is just for demonstration purpose. I might rinse this off soon because uh, I can't be bothered waiting pretty much.
right, so stock standard stuff there. That's our pre-soak and our rinse. Now this is where the difference comes in. So the traditional dogma or, or um, technique or whatever you want to call it was to get your two buckets here. I've got these full of water. And then you want to, can this camera see? You want to agitate your wash bucket to get some suds going, which we'll do. So this is where the difference is going to come in. So on this panel, I'm just going to use the wash mitt on that panel with the suds. Okay, and then after, you know, each panel or whatever we we give this a good rinse, we really fluff out this wash mitt, we, we, we rinse it, and then so that's it. Once we've done the car, we'll rinse it, happy days, that's what everyone's been doing forever. But, I reckon, you can just use this tool which we've got already set up, and you can just snow foam this now. It doesn't take long and like one of the criticisms I got was that this isn't going to have enough lubricity. Now I've just had a bit of a feel of this panel with the suds before and it, you know it was good. It felt like it was slippery and it had lubricity but if I use this panel here like this just feels just as good. It feels actually better. It feels more like there's more lubricity here. It feels very very slick and slippery and there's lots of suds and I don't have to have an, another wash bucket. If you're an older detailer, you're going to hurt your back lifting up these buckets all the time. Um, this feels really slippery guys, like this feels really slippery. So that was one of the other critiques that it wouldn't have the lubricity. I just don't believe it. If you want to trust the sales reps that say you need seven different products, by all means trust them, but don't tell me to trust them. I don't. They all have an agenda, they want to sell their products. Now a lot of them are nice and honest and you know, good blokes, but you know, you have to realize, I'm not making any money here guys trying to tell you which soap to use or whatever. So I don't have a, a, a motivation to sell you different products. Whereas when you talk to these sales reps, you have to always remember that they, they're, they're propaganda people to sell products. Now, that isn't a bad thing, and propaganda is a strong word, but you have to always think in the back of your mind, listen to what they're saying, but make your own opinion based on your own testing and looking at what other people do. Don't just take someone's word and believe it and, and then that's it. That's, you're gonna believe that now. Just do your own, listen to them, but do your own testing. And I feel like I see that so often in the industry, guys. So many people read something, a brochure or what a sales rep says or what another detailer says, and they don't do their own testing. Um, I see it so much with coatings. There's a very popular coating on the market, guys. It's one of the most popular coatings in Australia, and I don't think it's that good. But I think people use it because their neighbors use it, and their neighbors use it, and they don't actually get a test panel and test it themselves. So um, do your own testing. I like this wash method. Um, I think there's no real downsides to it. Um, some people don't even use a rinse bucket. Sandro from Carcraft, I've seen him. He'll just rinse the, mish, the, the mitt with a pressure washer and eliminate both the rinse and wash bucket. Um, there's a lot of different methods to wash a car, but I think this one at least for me works well. And it, you know, imagine if a million people didn't fill up a 20 liter bucket, you'd, you'd be saving 20 million liters of water, right? Is that, does that math check out? I think so. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. Alright guys, so I'm going to read some comments here and I'm going to just go through some of the uh, criticisms that people had and see if we can learn something here guys. So one second. 
Uh, this guy says he uses zero buckets. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the Sandra from Carcraft. You can use multiple mitts. Mitts means a dirty mitt. Oh yeah, that's, a, that's another one. This must be where those $25 polish and wash combos come from. Well, Matthew Wright, if you can find someone that, that does a car with a pre-soak and a, and a rinse and then a snow foam and then a contact wash and then another rinse for $25, let me know because I'll sub you all my work to them and I'll make shitloads because um, I don't see how changing from one bucket suddenly diminishes the whole wash to some $25 polish and wash combo. So, but yeah, let me know. Chris Tate says, can't leave snow foam or any soap in the sun or hot weather. Will leave marks on everything. I don't know what that has to do with this wash technique. I fully agree with that. I'm in shade. Whether you're using snow foam or a bucket wash, uh, I mean, that's the same regardless. So I don't know w w what that comment has to do with the actual different technique of using just one bucket, a rinse bucket and a snow foam for suds. But I agree. I just don't know where that came from because I'm not suggesting that you leave your car in the sun with suds on it. Really get a opportunity to shade. I do this and keep it. Yeah, okay. Oh, here we go. Victor Walker. Big bait post. Let's see how it turns out for him. And I've written here. Can you fill me in on what the bait is? Um, yeah, Victor. I, I don't know what I'm trying to bait here. Um, I'm just showing a different wash strategy. Uh, I'd be keen to know if you could expand on that on 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 what the where the bait is. Cheers. Brad always says, snow foam lacks the lubricity that a dedicated wash mixture in a bucket has. Each to their own, but I'm not stressed over the cost of an extra 20 litre. Yeah, mate, look, I agree. I was using the two buckets for forever. Uh, there's no problem with it. I just think that this is a little bit more efficient. And, you know, when we do this job each day, every day, even just finding incremental things to make it easier or better or more environmental or whatever, I think it's worth talking about. Um, so yeah, and I didn't really have an issue with lubricity. I don't know how you even measure lubricity apart from just feel. Um, I'm sure if I put an inspection light on that panel, I'm not gonna see swells or anything. So I think that's fine. But if you think, if you have a concern about lubricity, um, that is actually from your own testing and not just because of what a sales rep has told you, then all, all the power to you, I just don't feel the same. Daniel Monga says, so, you don't rinse or clean the wash mitt, just snow foam and wash mitt the entire car in one pass. He hasn't read, um, unfortunately he hasn't read what I've said. Matt Jones, I do this especially when my back is crook. Yep, it sure does save your back. Snow foam is just a pre-wash before your two bucket method, but if you want swells and scratches, go for it. Dale, uh, mate, I don't think there's any, the only difference here is that we're using snow foam for suds, which has plenty of lubricity in my opinion. Um, and, and then you say snow foam is just a pre-wash. Well, hang on, let me grab the bottle. So anyway, it's way too hard to get the camera to focus in on this, but, but you can Google snow foam pro and just read it because it's on, it's on the AutoSmart website. It says, Snow Foam Pro can be used as a one-step foam shampoo on vehicles with light soiling or after pre-wash. So you can use it after pre-wash and it even says apply a thin even layer of foam, agitate with a wash mitt and rinse with water. So that's literally what I'm doing. So, I mean, what do you mean Dad? I mean, level with me here. Like I don't understand what the problem is here Dad. Um, Um, I'll read a couple more. Luke Osborne, who's got the popcorn? Um, it's to wash the loose dirt and not just put suds on. Okay, cheers Aaron. Um, let's read a few more. Nick, ah fuck this phone.
Purpose of the snow... Nick Blackbeard. That's a sick last name, Blackbeard. Purpose of the snow foam cannon is to break down and enable loose particles to be rinsed off before you use a wash mitt. No, well that's one purpose of a snow foam, but I'm saying you can, you can use it as both that and suds for actual contact wash. This is so you don't scratch paint. Yeah, agree. Agree there. If you don't rinse this off prior to washing with mitt, then there's a chance... Alright, Nick, I agree with exactly what you're saying there. I think you're talking about the pre-wash stage, so I'm not saying to remove the pre-wash stage. I'm a big fan of the pre-wash, but I'm saying after the pre-wash, just get rid of the wash bucket and use this as suds instead of using the wash bucket for suds. So, I agree with you there, I just think we're not, um, we're not on the same wavelength there. Um, Jack Baldwin, that's bait. Um, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Ray. Now this guy looks quality. This looks like a, a high quality real Facebook uh, real Facebook profile here. Definitely not a troll. Why use water at all? Just urine on it. Should be good. Mate, I can't I can't produce that much urine, eh? So if you can, fuck, I'd love to see that and please make a video of it. Bring on the comments. Alright guys, so let me know what you think. I'll have to finish this car and get it in here. I'll probably edit this tonight and when I say edit I just mean literally like put it on my computer and then upload it to YouTube or something. So yeah anyways guys I probably I probably ran it on too long there but um hey I like that we can discuss some stuff and maybe change things for the better and um happy days. Cheers.